we all know that on the second Thursday of March, we are celebrating World Kidney Day. So this I am trying my little bit to increase the awareness about the kidney health. Today I am going to talk about kidney transplantation. So we all know once a patient reaches end stage kidney disease, that is the last stage of chronic kidney disease, only two options will be there, either dialysis or transplant. Between the two options, the dialysis and transplant, transplant has a better quality of life and always transplant is recommended as a first treatment of choice compared to dialysis. I want to break certain myths about kidney transplantation. So kidney transplantation is done when one of the family members donates their one of the kidneys to the patient. So we remove that kidney and transplant it into a recipient. So following the kidney transplantation, the patient has to be on immunosuppressive medications lifelong. So this is the basic requirement of a kidney transplantation. So compared to dialysis, the quality of life is always good, better. At the same time, the food restrictions will be lesser and he has got freedom to do his professional activities also. So there are two kinds of kidney transplantation. One is live related, other is cadaver. Then the live related transplant, what we do here, one of the family members, usually we consider first degree relatives. It could be parents, siblings, children or grandparents. One of them can donate their kidneys to the patient. Whereas in cadaver renal transplantation, it is the brain dead individuals. Once the family decides to donate their organs, the kidney gets allocated to the patient. For that, there is a Soto and Roto organization is there where a patient has to register themselves for kidney transplant. The one of the drawback of cadaver transplant is there is a waiting list of around two to three years till they get their kidneys. So I wish you a good kidney health to everyone. Thank you.